Welcome to Hockey Wiz Talks Podcast. Today I'll be talking about how the 2020 NHL Draft Lottery can build a dynasty. The fallout from the 2020 NHL Draft Lottery is that Alexis Lafreniere is going to a team that is in the play-in round, which means a team like Toronto, Chicago, Edmonton, or Pittsburgh could potentially get Alexis Lafreniere. If any of these teams get Lafreniere, they could turn into a dynasty. These four teams get heavily favored in draft lotteries when a superstar is involved, so I would not be surprised if either of these four teams get Lafreniere. Let's see how getting Alexi Lafreniere would affect each of these teams. The Toronto Maple Leafs would really benefit from getting Alexi Lafreniere because for the first three years, they would really benefit from him being on an entry-level contract. Also, getting a superstar caliber forward like Alexi Lafreniere would allow them to trade Mitch Marner. The Toronto Maple Leafs trade Mitch Marner and the rights to Tyson Berry to the Minnesota Wild for Matt Dumba, Luke Cunnan, and a first round pick in 2021. The Maple Leafs also trade Alexander Kerfoot, Kasperi Kapanen, and Ilya Mikhaev, and a second round pick in 2022 to the Carolina Hurricanes for Vincent Trocek and Ryan Dezingle. The Maple Leafs also trade Rasmus Sandin, Timothy Lilligren, and a first round pick in 2021 to the Tampa Bay Lightning for Mikhail Sergeyev. Toronto re-signs Mikhail Sergeyev to a 7-year deal worth $5.75 million per season, and Travis Dermont to a 6-year deal worth $4.5 million per season. Luke Cunnan is re-signed to a 2-year deal worth $3.5 million per season. Dennis Malgin and Frederick Gauthier are re-signed to a 2-year deal. This is Toronto's lineup with Lafreniere. First line, Lafreniere, Tavares, Dezingle. Second line, Andreas Janssen, Austin Matthews, William Nylander. Third line, Hyman, Trocek, Cunnan. Fourth line, Engvall, Gauthier, Malgin. First D pair, Morgan Riley, Sergeyev. Second D pair, Muzzin and Dumba. Third D pair, Dermot and Hall. Frederick Anderson and Jack Campbell. If the Toronto Maple Leafs get Alexi Lafreniere, they could potentially become a dynasty for at least a three year period. And now, a word from our sponsor. Check out my hockey blog at hockeywisttalkshockey.blastbot.com. The Chicago Blackhawks are another team that could potentially turn their team into a dynasty if they land Alexi Lafreniere. Getting Lafreniere would allow them to trade some of their high paid forwards. Chicago Blackhawks send Brandon Saad and Duncan Keith to the Ottawa Senators for Anthony Duclair and a first round pick in 2020. Chicago also trades Dylan Strome, Alex DeBrinkett, and Calvin DeHaan to the Dallas Stars for Ty Delandria, Rope Hintz, and Jamie Oleksiak. Oliver Borkstrand is acquired from the Columbus Blue Jackets for a second round pick in 2020 and a third round pick in 2021. At the 2020 draft, the Blackhawks trade picks 21 and a first round pick in 2021 to the Florida Panthers for pick 14 used to select Yaroslav Askarov and John Ludwig. Chicago Blackhawks buy out Brent Seabrook and Andrew Shaw. Chicago Blackhawks re-sign Corey Crawford to a two-year deal worth $4.5 million per season and Rope Hintz to a four-year deal worth $4.25 million per season. In free agency, the Blackhawks sign Alex Petriangelo to a seven-year deal worth $6.5 million per season. This is Chicago's lineup with Lafreniere. First line, Alexi Lafreniere, Jonathan Taves, Oliver Borkstrand. Second line, Dominic Kubali, Kirby Doc, Patrick Kane. Third line, Rope Hintz, Ty Delandria, Alex Nylander. Fourth line, Zach Smith, David Kempf, and Ryan Carpenter. First D pair, Nick Boudin, Alex Petrangelo. Second D pair, Oli Mata, Adam Boquist. Third D pair, Jamie Oleksiak, Connor Murphy. Goalies are Yaroslav Askarov and Corey Crawford. If the Chicago Blackhawks get Alexi Lafreniere, they could potentially become a dynasty for at least the next three years. The Edmonton Oilers are another team that seem to have tons of lottery luck. Getting Lafreniere would give them another superstar player and would turn them into the closest thing to resembling the 80s Oilers, a team that won 5 straight Stanley Cups. Edmonton Oilers trade Jesse Poljujarvi and Miko Koiskinen to the Ottawa Senators for Chris Tierney and a second round pick in 2020 used to select Kasper Samantabo. Edmonton Oilers also trade Oscar Clefbaum and Zach Cassian to the Vegas Golden Knights for Peyton Krebs and Jimmy Schultz. Adam Larson and Alex Chison are traded to the New York Islanders for Oliver Wallstrom, Michael Dow Cole, and a second round pick in 2022. Edmonton Oilers buy out James Neal. Edmonton Oilers re-sign Chris Tierney to a four-year deal worth $3.75 million per season. Ethan Bear is re-signed to a two-year deal worth $2.5 million per season. And Jimmy Schultz to a two-year deal worth $1.75 million per season. Edmonton Oilers sign Robin Lehner to a four-year deal worth $5 million per season. The Oilers also sign Brad Richardson and Louis Domingue to a one-year deal. 
This is Edmonton's lineup with Lafreniere. First line, Alexi Lafreniere, Connor McDavid, and Peyton Krebs. Second line, Ryan Nugent Hopkins, Leon Dreistel, Kyler Yamamoto. Third line, Michael Dalcole, Chris Tierney, Oliver Wallstrom. Fourth line, Ryan Kuffner, Brad Richardson, and Josh Archibald. First D pair, Philip Broberg, Evan Bouchard. Second D pair, Darnell Nurse, Ethan Bear. Third D pair, Jimmy Schull, Chris Russell. Goalies are Robin Lehner and Louis Domingue. If the Edmonton Oilers get Alexi Lafreniere, they could be a dynasty and would be the first team since the Dynasty Oilers to win three straight Stanley Cups. And now, a word from our sponsor. Visit my Facebook page, Mr. MrHockeyWiz777, and my Instagram, Mr. MrHockeyWiz77. The Pittsburgh Penguins are a team that don't need Alexi Lafreniere, but if they do indeed get him... They would get a boost of fresh young talent in their lineup and would almost ensure at least another two Stanley Cups for Crosby and Malkin. Pittsburgh Penguins trade Patrick Hornquist, Dominic Simone, and Sam Lafferty to the Calgary Flames for Oliver Kylington and Andrew Mangiapane. The Pens also send Nick Bukestad and the rights to Justin Schultz to the LA Kings for Matt Roy, Blake Lazat, and a third round pick in 2020. Evan Rodriguez, Jack Johnson, Jared McCann, and a second round pick in 2020 get dealt to the New Jersey Devils for Pavel Zaka and Joey Anderson. Pittsburgh Penguins re-sign Matt Murray to a 6-year deal worth $5 million per season and Tristan Jari to a 3-year deal worth $4.5 million per season. Oliver Kylington and Andrew Mangiapane are re-signed to 1-year deals. This is Pittsburgh's lineup with Lafreniere. First line, Jake Gunsel, Sidney Crosby, Jason Zucker. Second line, Alexi Lafreniere, Evgeny Malkin, Brian Rust. Third line, Brandon Tanev, Pavel Zaka, Andrew Mangiapane. Fourth line, Teddy Bluger, Blake Lazat, Zach Aston Reese. First D pair, Brian DeMullen, Chris Letang. Second D pair, Marcus Pedersen, John Marino. Third D pair, Oliver Kylington, Matt Roy. Goalies are Matt Murray and Tristan Jari. The Pittsburgh Penguins would potentially win at least another two Stanley Cups with Alexi Lafreniere joining Crosby and Malkin. By giving the number one pick in the 2020 draft in Alexi Lafreniere to a team in the play-in round, the NHL could potentially have handed one of these teams a dynasty. In my next podcast, I'll be talking about why the 2020 NHL draft is actually better than the 2020 draft.